Ja'far bin Abdulaziz al Saud, custodian of the two holy mosques, was the king of Saudi Arabia from 1982 to 2005, one of 37 sons of Saudi founder Ibn Saud and the fourth of his six sons who have ruled the kingdom. Ja'far descended to the throne on the death of his half brother, King Khalid, on 13 June 1982. Ja'far was appointed crown prince when Khalid succeeded his half-brother King Faisal, who was assassinated in 1975. Fahd was viewed as the de facto prime minister during King Khalid's reign in part due to the latter's ill health. Fahd suffered a debilitating stroke in 1995, after which he was unable to continue performing his full official duties. His half-brother, Abdullah, the country's crown prince, served as de facto regent of the kingdom and succeeded Fahd as monarch upon his death in August 2005. King Fahd is credited for having introduced the basic law of Saudi Arabia in 1992. Early life and education Fahd bin Abdulaziz was born in Riyadh in 1921. He is the eighth son of Ibn Sa'd. His mother was Hassa al-Suderi and he was the eldest member of the Suderi Seven. Fahd's education took place at the Prince's School in Riyadh, a school established by Ibn Sa'd specifically for the education of members of the House of Sa'd. He received education for four years as a result of his mother's urging. While at the Prince's School, Fahd studied under tutors including Sheikh Abdul Ghani Kayat. Then he went on to receive education at the Religious Knowledge Institute in Mecca. Early political positions. Prince Fahd was made a member of the Royal Advisory Board at his mother's urging. In 1945, Prince Fahd traveled on his first state visit to San Francisco for the signing of the UN Charter. On this trip he served under his brother, Prince Faisal, who was at the time Saudi Arabia's foreign minister. In 1953, Fahd led his first official state visit, attending the coronation of Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth II on behalf of the House of Saad. On 24 December 1953, Prince Fahd was appointed Education Minister, being the first person holding this post in the country. Prince Fahd led the Saudi delegation to the League of Arab States in 1959, signifying his increasing prominence in the House of Saad and that he was being groomed for a more significant role. In 1962, Fahd was given the important post of Interior Minister. As Interior Minister he headed the Saudi delegation at her meeting of Arab heads of state in Egypt in 1965. He was named second Deputy Prime Minister. In 1967, which was created for the first time by King Faisal, Crown Prince. After the death of King Faisal in 1975, Fahd was named first Deputy Prime Minister and concurrently Crown Prince in 1975. Although Prince Fahd had two elder brothers, Prince Nasser and Prince Saad, who had prior claims to the throne, both were considered unsuitable candidates. By contrast, Prince Fahd had served as Minister of Education from 1954 to 1960 and Minister of Interior from 1962 to 1975. Appointment of Prince Fahd as both Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister made him a much more powerful figure in contrast to the status of King Khalid when he had been crown prince during King Faisal's reign. Reign. When King Khalid died on 13 June 1982, Fahd succeeded to the throne. He was the fifth king of Saudi Arabia. However, the most active period of his life was not his reign, but when he was crown prince. He adopted the title, Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, in 1986, replacing, His Majesty, to signify an Islamic rather than secular authority. Foreign policy. Fearing that the 1979 revolution in Iran could lead to similar Islamic upheaval in Saudi Arabia, Fahd spent considerable self after ascending the throne in 1982, to support Saddam Hussein's Iraq in its war with Iran.
Fard was a supporter of the United Nations. He supported foreign aid and gave 5.5% of Saudi Arabia's national income through various funds especially the Saudi Fund for Development and the OPEC Fund for International Development. He also gave aid to foreign groups such as the Bosnian Muslims in the Yugoslav Wars, as well as the Nicaraguan Contras, providing a million dollars per month from May to December 1984. King Fahd was also a strong supporter of the Palestinian cause and an opponent of the State of Israel. Fahd was staunch ally of the United States, and has been quoted by the CIA as saying, after Allah, we can count on the United States. Quote, he did however at times distance himself from the U.S., declining to allow U.S. to use Saudi air bases to protect naval convoys after the attack on the Ustark, and in 1988 agreed to buy between 50 and 60 nuclear payload-capable CSS-2 intermediate-range ballistic missiles. King Fahd developed a peace plan in order to resolve Arab differences particularly between Algeria and Morocco. He he also actively contributed to the Taif Accord in 1989 that ended conflict in Lebanon. In addition, he led the Arab world against the invasion of Kuwait by Iraq. He developed a special bond with both Syrian President Hafez Assad and Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak during his reign. Islamic activities. He took steps to support the conservative Saudi religious establishment, including spending millions of dollars on religious education, strengthened separation of the sexes and power of the religious police, publicly endorsed Sheikh Abd al-Aziz ibn Baz's warning to young Saudis to avoid the path of evil by not to travel to Europe and the United States. This further distanced him from his inconvenient past. Persian Gulf War, 1991 in 1990, Iraqi forces under Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, placing the Iraqi army on the Saudi-Kuwaiti border. King Fahd agreed to host American-led coalition troops in his kingdom, and later allowed American troops to be based there. This decision brought him considerable criticism and opposition from many Saudi citizens, who objected to the presence of foreign and troops on Saudi soil. This was a casu spelly against the Saudi royal family prominently cited by Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. His decision was also objected by his full brothers of the Sudari 7. Another cause for criticism came when during an event with the British royal family, King Fahd was seen wearing a white decoration in the shape of a cross. In 1994 bin Laden cited this as abomination and clearly infidelity, reform and industrialization in regard to reform, King Fahd showed little tolerance for reformists. In 1992, a group of reformists and prominent Saudi intellectuals petitioned King Fahd for wide-ranging reforms, including widening political representation, and curbing the royal family's wasteful spending. King Fahd first responded by ignoring their requests and when they persisted, reformists were harshly persecuted, imprisoned and fired from their jobs. During King Fahd's rule, the royal family's lavish spending of the country's wealth reached its height. In addition, the biggest and most controversial military contract of the century, the al Yamama arms deal was signed on his watch. The contract has cost the Saudi Treasury more than $90 billion. These funds were originally allocated to building hospitals, schools, universities and roads. As a result, Saudi Arabia endured a stagnation in infrastructure development from 1986 till 1999 when the new king, Abdullah, fully came into power. Like all the countries bordering the Persian Gulf, Saudi Arabia under King Fahd has focused its industrial development on hydrocarbon installations. Up to this day, the country is reliant on imports for nearly all its light and heavy machinery. King Fahd established a Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs directed by senior family members and technocrats in 1994.
The Council was planned to function as an ombudsman of Islamic activity concerning educational, economic and foreign policy matters. The chairman of the council was Prince Sultan, Prince Naif, Prince Saad and a technocrat Muhammad Ali Abba al Hayal were appointed to the newly established council. One of the covert purposes of the council was thought to be to reduce the power of the Alamas council had been increasing its power succession mechanism. In an effort to institutionalize succession King Fahd issued a decree on 1 March 1992. The decree expanded the criteria for succession, which had been only seniority and family consensus, and led to speculations. The most significant change by the edict was that the king did acquire the right to appoint or dismiss his heir apparent based on suitability rather than seniority and that the grandsons of Abdulaziz became eligible for the throne. Rule after the 1995 stroke, King Fahd was a heavy smoker, overweight for much of his adult life, and in his 60s began to suffer from arthritis and severe diabetes. He suffered a debilitating stroke on 29 November 1995 and became noticeably frail, and decided to delegate the running of the kingdom to Crown Prince Abdullah on 2 January 1996. On 21 February, King Fahd resumed official duties. After his stroke, King Fahd was partly inactive and had to use a cane and then a wheelchair, though he still attended meetings and received selected visitors. In November 2003, according to government media, King Fahd was quoted as saying to strike with an iron fist at terrorists after deadly bombings in Saudi Arabia. Although he could hardly utter a word because of his deteriorating health, however, it was Crown Prince Abdul who took official trips. When King Fahd travelled it was for vacations, and he was sometimes absent from Saudi Arabia for months at a time. When his oldest son and International Olympic Committee member Prince Faisal bin Fahd died in 1999, the king was in Spain and did not return for the funeral. In a speech to an Islamic conference on 30 August 2003, King Fahd condemned terrorism and exhorted Muslims. Muslim clerics to emphasize peace, security, cooperation, justice, and tolerance in their sermons. Wealth. Forbes estimated Fard's wealth to be $25 billion in 2002. Fortune magazine reported his wealth in 1988 at $18 billion. In addition to residences in Saudi Arabia he had a palace on Spain's Costa del Sol which made Marbella a famous place recreational activities. At the same time as King Fahd presided over a more strict Islamic policy at home he was known to enjoy luxurious living abroad, even in ways that would not be allowed in his own kingdom. He visited the ports of the French Riviera, in his 147-meter yacht, the $100 million Abdulaziz. The ship featured two swimming pools, a ballroom, a gym, a theater, a portable garden, a hospital with an intensive care unit and two operating rooms, and four American Stinger missiles. The king also had a personal $150 million Boeing 747 jet, equipped with his own fountain. In his visits to London he reportedly lost millions of dollars in the casinos and was even known to circumvent the curfew imposed by British gaming laws by hiring his own blackjack and roulette dealers to continue gambling through the night in his hotel suite. Family. King Fahd was married at least four times. The spouses of King Fahd were as follows, H.H. Princess al Anud bin Abdulaziz bin Musad al Saad, mother of his eldest four sons, Prince Faisal, Prince Saad, Prince Sultan and Prince Khalid. H.H. Princess al Jafara bin Ibrahim al Ibrahim, mother of Prince Abdulaziz bin Fahd. H.H. Princess Jawza bin Abdullah bin Abdul Rahman al Saad, mother of Prince Muhammad. H.H. Princess al Jafara bin Abdullah al Suderi. H.H. Princess Modi bin Turka bin Abdullah al Saad.
H. H. Princess Jozarab bin Sultan al Adfam al Sabai, H. H. Princess Turfa bin Tabdulaziz bin Moammar, H. H. Princess Watfa bin Tabayd bin Ali al Jab al Rashid, H. H. Princess Lolwa al Abdul Rahman al Muhannarab al Kail. H. H. Princess Sheikha bin Turka bin Mari Kalthit, H. H. Princess Sita bin Ghanayim bin Sun Itan Abu Thangen, Janin Hub, King Fahd had six sons and four daughters. His sons are, Faisal bin Fahd died of a heart attack. Director General of Youth Welfare, Director General at Ministry of Planning and Minister of State, Muhammad bin Fahd, former Governor of the Eastern Province. Saad bin Fahd, former Deputy President of the General Intelligence Directorate, Sultan bin Fahd, Army Officer, elevated to ministerial rank in November 1997, former Head of Youth Welfare, Khalid bin Fahd, Abdulaziz bin Fahd, Fahd's favorite and youngest son and Minister of State without portfolio. He is the son of Princess Jafar al-Ibrahim, Fahd's fourth and, reportedly, favorite wife. Dot. Ancestry death. King Fahd was admitted to the King Faisal Specialist Hospital in Riyadh on 27 May 2005 for unspecified medical tests. An official told the Associated Press unofficially that the king had died at 7.30 on 1 August 2005. King Fahd was 84. Official statement was announced on state television at 10 o'clock by then Information Minister Iyad Madani. Funeral King Fahd was buried in the last Thorb he wore. Fahd's body was carried to Imam Turka bin Abdullah Mosque, and funeral prayers were held at around 15.30 local time on 2 August. The prayers for the late monarch were led by the kingdom's Grand Mufti, Sheikh Abdulaziz al Sheikh. The funeral prayer, during which worshippers remained standing, was performed after afternoon prayers. The ceremony was replicated in other mosques across the kingdom, where the prayers for the absentee were held. The body was carried by King Fahd's son, Abdul Aziz bin Fahd, to the mosque and to the Alud Cemetery some two kilometers away, a public cemetery where Fahd's four predecessors and other members of the Al Saad ruling family are buried. Arab and Muslim dignitaries who attended the funeral were not present at the burial. Only ruling family members and Saudi citizens were on hand as the body was lowered into the grave. Muslim leaders offered condolences at the mosque, while other foreign dignitaries and leaders who came after the funeral paid their respects at the royal court. In accordance with regulations and social traditions, Saudi Arabia declared a national mourning period of three days during which all offices were closed. Government offices remained closed for the rest of the week. The state flag was not lowered. After his death, many Arab countries declared mourning periods. Algeria, Egypt, Iraq, Kuwait, Lebanon, Morocco, Oman, Qatar, Syria, Yemen, the Arab League in Cairo, and the Palestinian Authority all declared three-day mourning periods. Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates declared a seven-day mourning period and ordered all flags flown at half-star. In Jordan, a national three-day mourning period was declared and a 40-day mourning period was decreed at the royal court. Many foreign dignitaries attended the funeral, such as U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney, French President Jacques Chirac, King Juan Carlos of Spain, Prince Charles of the United Kingdom, Pakistan. President Pervez Musharraf, King Abdullah II of Jordan, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, Singapore Senior Minister Gochok Tong, and President of Mauritania Mao-Yerold Sid Ahmed Taya. Honours Foreign Honours Malaysia, Honorary Grand Commander of the Order of the Defender of the Realm. United Kingdom, a royal Victorian chain, Azerbaijan, Istiklal Order. In 1984, King Fahd received the Faisal Prize for Service to Islam awarded by the King Faisal Foundation.